I made it 66 pages into this book of 300 and something and then I could not do it. So I'm back with another book for Teen Tuesday and this time it's called My Favourite Band Does Not Exist and this is by Robert T. Jeshonik This book is, it's kind of interesting because it's about time travel and alternate universes. It's, you know, described at the back of the book as School of Rock meets Alice in Wonderland, which really appealed to me. And I wanted to read it because it seemed like it was revolved around that, that fourth wall type of thing, where you break the fourth wall. You know, one of my favourite authors is Jasper Ford. One of his series involves actually being in a book and being aware that you're inside a novel. This appealed to me because that seemed to be what this was about as well. But I did not finish this book. There are three different perspectives in this book and I'm just like why? Also, main character's name is Idea Deity. His parents are vengeful and loving deity. Why? The other main character's name is Richard Mirage. Why? I need this like Lord Fire Skull in here at some point, and it's just, it's weird. It's actually pretty boring for something that's supposed to be like, it jumps straight into it. Like, in the first page, he's being chased by somebody. It pretty much seems like this kid was raised from a cult. Even though the first page jumps straight into this chase with him being chased by these security guards who are trying to bring him back to the cult. It's still very boring and it's just, it's the characters' interactions within themselves. They just, they're not interesting. They're very rigid and they just don't have any kind of dynamic in this book. You know, it's an alternate universe. So one perspective is from Idea who made up a band and became an internet sensation except no one's heard of, there's no recordings of the band's songs or concerts or anything. Everybody believes it's real except for Idea who knows that it's a band that he made up and in the alternate universe it's the band is real and they're wondering who this crazy idiot is releasing all this personal information about themselves onto the internet that's created this massive fan base for them but that they're not ready to be a band yet they're not ready to come out and be the rock stars that they are so that's the second perspective and the third perspective is a fantasy novel which is really weird in here because apparently Reacher, who's the lead singer of this band, um, is reading a fantasy novel. And you get to read it along with him. Which, I mean, it's kind of a nice idea. It's just, it's weird. And it's really hard to get into. And I really wanted to get into this book. Because it seemed like my type of book. And it's just, it seemed like such a unique and original idea. But I just could not do it. It's like it's trying too hard to be a clever book. When you try too hard, it just fails. Which, unfortunately, is what happened to this book. I definitely recommend giving it a shot just in case that maybe for you it doesn't do that and for you it is a really good book. The premise is really good. It's just, I just don't like the way it was written and I had a couple of friends read it and they didn't even make it as far as I did. I think they made it into like 20 pages. We found it a difficult read. I'm going to have to put this into the bad books. The storyline itself, I think, is original enough and unique enough that it saves it from being like don't pick this book up just because I think it's worth giving it a shot to see if it's something that you, you will like. For me it's just a bad book because I just can't finish it. I can't bring myself to put myself through this book that I find so boring and so rigid. There are no character dynamics. It doesn't seem like there'll be any character growth and it just doesn't seem like it's really going anywhere. Yeah, unfortunately, this is going to the bad books pile. And that's the end of the review. So if you want to see more reviews like this, just hit the subscribe button and yeah.